If you happen to be one of the many people that owns a Eufy Cam 3, also known as an S330 camera, and you notice that your camera is no longer charging in full sun, and each day the battery capacity seems to get lower and lower, that's an indication that the internal lithium-ion battery pack needs to be replaced. Now the amazing thing is the company does not sell a replacement battery pack. What they want you to do is throw your camera in the trash and go out and spend a lot of money all over again on a new camera. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can save your camera as well as at least $100 by rebuilding the camera using quality Samsung cells. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do on the front, you're going to gently pry away a plastic bezel. All right, goes right on the front here. Take a very thin screwdriver between the white housing and the ring and just gently pry. You're going to pop it off all the way around the perimeter. Once that's done, the next step, there are four screws. And I'm going to zoom in right now to show you exactly where they are. You're going to have to remove the four of those screws as well. You're going to take a PH00 screwdriver like you see right here, very tiny Phillips, and you're going to remove each one of those screws that I just pointed out in the image. Once that's done, you're going to slide the internal part of the camera out by just very gently just banging it in your hand until it slides out. Here's the inside that slid out. There's the battery right over here, or battery pack. Right over here, there's a little connector, and that goes to the solar panel right here. So when you slide it out, be very careful. You're going to grab the sides of this connector with your fingernail or even a small hemostat tool and just remove it from this position so you don't yank it out and damage anything. Over here is your battery pack. Take a screwdriver, a tiny one. I could use this and just pop it up. This was loosened already. And then this battery pack is just sitting in here. There it goes. And what's inside here? Four 18650 lithium ion cells. What I did is I went online. I'll post a link in the video description area where I got my cells. I purchased the Samsung cells you see right here. These are INR18650-30Qs. They're flat top. So I can put the tabbing material on either side with no problem and it will not stick out far. So I got four of those cells. If you want to know where I purchased them, a link has been posted in the video description area. To get started, we're going to go to the opposite side and make a straight cut so I can open this battery pack up to look inside to see how it's connected. Okay. All right. I keep that. Very carefully peel things away. Okay, so what we have are four cells in parallel. That's how they arrived at the, I believe, 13,200 milliamp hour capacity. Each one of these is a 3,250 milliamp hour rating. And I think the ones I got are 3,000 rating, which is fine. So that's good. Now let's take a look at the pull this off. This board you are going to keep. You don't want to damage it. So what I'm going to do is go all the way over here. So we're going to pull off this Kapton tape. Pull 
that off. You need to be extremely careful when you're working on this. You do not want to have any short circuits. You can see over here is positive and the board over here is connected to the negative. So let me just disconnect here. Use these cutters. That's good. Do not damage the board. You need it. Now go over here the same way. Don't dig down into the paper here because you might go positive to negative and that wouldn't be good. Just gently just do it. Good. You want to keep that. What I want to do next is remove this blue cardboard tape. To do that, cut there, 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 and there. And then you can peel it off. I'm going to do both sides and come right back. Okay, you can see over here, everything is cut. Now I'll be able to gently peel off that blue tape so I can affix it to the new cells. And then do the same for the opposite side. Make sure all the positives are on one end and the negatives on the other. And here you can see as it peels away, now these are free to move. Right here we have four 18650 cells now separated by removing the tape from both ends. You're going to wrap this up with masking tape a few turns in order to prevent short circuits and you're going to take it to a battery recycling location near you and you might even be able to take it to Home Depot or Lowe's. I believe they have a lithium ion battery recycling bin you could throw these in. Here you have the positive ends of the new 18650 cells. Very carefully going to take this tape, position it, start with one, and then you could do all four. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. Push that one down first, so that's a good connection. When you put the tape back, it should look very nice like you see right here. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the negative side. Make sure everything is nice and square and no spaces. This tape was on the other cells. So I'm going to put that right. Like that. Okay. Everything goes back the opposite of what you took apart. Very simple. It's going to end up just like that when we're all finished. Now I'm going to take my battery spot welder. If you don't have one, there's a link in the video description area. I'm going to spot weld all four of these together and the negatives together. Right here's the battery spot welder. And I have the tabbing material. I'm going to start there. Turn this on. We do more than that, but we're going to do this first. Let's do two more here. Like 
and it works extremely well. It does not move. So when you pull up, it does not come off. So now we're going to take it this way to here. Good. Okay, it's all together with the tabbing. Just make sure it's nice and flat and there's plenty of spot welds. Now let's put the battery board back on. I'm going to spot weld it right there and on this side. Okay, it's all complete. The board is pushed down in the valley between the cells. Piece of Kapton. Done. Done. Now I'm going to take this tape, cover that end, cover the other end, slide these back on, tape it, and I'm finished. Here you can see that protective adhesive tape, both sides. Slide this in. I'm going to tape this nice and tight and then put this back. And here it is, all complete. New cells inside, sealed tight. Just some clear tape on the outside to keep it together. The things people go through to stop getting ripped off by companies. Place this back in the camera, plug it in, reassemble, plug this camera in using the USB charging until it's fully charged, and then you can place it outdoors, and you should be good to go. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.